Okay, folks, listen, I'm back at it again. And what we're doing today is we're doing a Southern style pinto bean, right? Now what levels this up is, just the fact that this has smoked turkey. You got a few ingredients here, but it's the combination of them all. This, this, and these beans is gonna make it fire, folks. Let's get it. Okay, so look, don't let the lack of ingredients right here fool you. As I always say, listen, sometimes simple works, right? Now, I got one pound of pinto beans, right? I've already picked through these. Here go another one that's like a uh, crack. I just get rid of anything that's had any impure, any impurities in them, you know, like cracked, you know, uh, split, anything like that, you know? So now that I've done that already, I'm gonna just go ahead, add them here. Because what we want to do is we want to soak our beans, right? Now, if you pay attention, look, I set them down like this, get them level, right? Now, I want to cover these about, about that high. Because tomorrow when we come in, what we're doing is we're soaking our beans, right? So we want to get them nice. You want them to soften up a little bit, release the gases of the inside. It's better for your, you know, digestion in your body and all of that, right? So now, I go ahead. And what I do is I stir them around like this just to see where I'm at. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And that right there, we'll come back tomorrow and then we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, drain the rest. If there's any liquid left, it might absorb it all, right? All right, so listen, now we, you know, it's next day. We soaked our beans overnight. You guys can look. I already rinsed off the little bit of water that was down here at the bottom. You can see it was like a little bit on the dirty side. So I rinse these until we come up clear. I'm gonna set these off to the side. Now I'm gonna show you guys this part right here. Now, when you're working with smoked turkey parts, I like to get them as soft, right? And I, what I do is I just boil these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here like this. Hopefully both of these will fit in here. Yeah, I can get them both in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and boil this. Now, you know, I always told you guys, whenever you doing anything that calls for water, we level it up with some chicken stock, right? But we're not gonna do that because I'm gonna give this a little bit of a head start on getting soft. So I'm just gonna add some water here to this. Like you see, in actuality, I'm gonna add this, get it covered, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling. This is my first step, right? I do this probably for about 35 to 40 minutes prior to me putting this inside of the, uh, prior to me putting this inside of my beans, right? Because then as we cooking the beans down and all of that, we put that in there and this cooks down and that makes it easier to shred. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a pro tip. That's water, I got it, this is smoked turkey. But I'm gonna go ahead and give myself like a heaping tablespoon of this bouillon powder, right? This right here, we doing this for flavor also, you know? So this is something totally optional, but this is what I like to do. You know what I mean? This is like a little bit of a level up. So let me put this under the fire. I'm gonna put a top on it. And we finna get this going and, you know, soften up. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about like just multitasking. You want everything to be prepared, right? So obviously I went ahead and took my dry ingredients and put everything in these little candy dishes or you know, little small ramekins or whatever you want to call these. You know what I mean? Our uh, beans have already been pre-soaked. Pre-soaked, they ready to go. To be honest with you, I can just put this there. Chicken stock, we got our Dutch oven. So why wouldn't we now just go ahead and, you know, multitask, right? Have everything ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my celery together. Now, a lot of people don't put celery in there. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna cut these down and I'm gonna show you how I do them. All right, I'm gonna do them this way. All right, so. You see that? So I'm gonna take it over here. Let me try to bring it. I flipped it over so you guys can just see it, right? And I try to follow that rib all the way down. And then we come like that, right? Now, we all know, and if you didn't know this, you know, now we learning. Listen, we are gonna dice small because we want to get the flavor. When you want to have the texture, you make them a little bit bigger. So that's why I'm gonna show them like this. I'm gonna cut this down like this. You guys see that right there? When it's small like this, this will evaporate and almost disappear inside of there. But that tells me I'm getting my celery, you know, flavor inside of these beans. Okay, folks, so now when it comes time to, you know, once we already got the, uh, the turkey halfway started, right, you can see how it released all of its flavor in there. That's some good water right there. You know what I mean? So we're going to call that turkey stock full of flavor, you know, so we don't want to discard that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dutch oven, right? I'm going to take these. Oh, when I tell you they soft, you know they soft because they be tight when you get them, right? But now when I just squeeze like, ah, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in just like you see. You know, let's turn them like that, right? Now, we don't want to discard none of the liquid that we boiled them in, right? So I have myself right here, you know, a four cup Pyrex cup. I'm gonna come over here and work over the sink. 
this out the way. And I'm going to just put this in here like this. Right? Yes, sir. You got to see it. Now you see how we build in flavors and all of that. So I'm going to come over here and put this down just like this. Now we want to have four cups at least, right? So I take chicken stock, add it to it. It's really about the flavor, folks. So shake that up. Let's add that in there like this. We're going to probably add some more to it, but I'm going to keep it just the way the instructions say. You know what I mean? We're going to look and see how much we got in there like this. Right? So that mixture, we bring this, bring it over here like that. Hurry up and pour it, because if I pour it slow so you got to get some kind of effect, all that do is run down the side, run down the back, and then I got to clean it up. You know what I mean? So look, let's just go ahead and get it in there. Right? So now, what I did was I turned my uh, burner on. I, got, I put it on high, because we want to get this to go ahead and hurry up and to boil, right? So while this is going, now, you know, we got some ingredients, right? This is real simple. I'm gonna go ahead and just add all of my dry ingredients in right now, all right? I'm gonna hold back my, my bay leaves. Now, you guys been following me for a minute. I've been using a lot of spatula, but listen, when you start cooking like this, we start going back down that, into that time machine, thinking about what Big Mama did and all of that. I love to use my square edge, you know, wooden spoons, you know? So look, I'm just mixing this together as it's starting to get hot, right? Now we got celery and we got the beans, and then we got some uh, we got some Creole kick. Now this be like what I hold back. This is why mine tastes just a little different than everybody else. So listen, if you don't have Creole kick, which wow, that'd be that would really amaze me. You know what? I'll give you guys uh, you guys can use any of your favorite Creole seasoning. Now listen, we don't want to overdo it, right? I'm gonna go in here and get myself just a tablespoon, right? Go in there and get some more of that in there it over there trying to act funny right i like these if you guys got measuring cut measuring spoons like this look the big size and then they got it narrow so that you can get in all types of them jar them, uh, them jars right so let's go ahead and just sprinkle this in here like that and then we get to mm-hmm yep i don't have to say no more you guys can just look at my liquid in here just say, yeah, that right there with them beans, right? So I'm just letting it heat up. I can add everything in there right now, but I like for this to hurry up and get hot. You know what I mean? I want to see some bubbles in there, then I'm going to dump this in there. We're going to get it ready, and then we're going to set it on slow and low. And I'll give you the time in just one minute. All right, so you see how we up to a boil right now? But I just want to show you this. When I talk about you want to have that meat nice and soft, look. See how that break off like that? If yours ain't doing that already, this is how I like to do mine. I got it. My grandma would put all that in there and try to cook it all together. But that's why she was cooking her beans like forever. You know what I mean? If you ask me. So we on high. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add in my celery. Now once I got everything in here, it's still breaking up. Now we're gonna go ahead and just add them, them pinto beans, folks. Uh-huh. But you guys are getting the gist of it now. When I, when I lift it up right there, you can only imagine what it's gonna be like, right? So one more time, folks, just to get your, you know, your juices in your brain, you know the going. You see that right there? Look at how this, did, this is right here. Now you see we come back up to a boil, right? Two bay leaves. I take my bay leaves like this and I just push them down. I know they in there, we'll find them later. Now, I'm gonna keep out my chicken stock, just in case, because if it becomes too thick, when it's finished cooking, I can add a little bit more to thin it out, and I'm gonna show you how to make this like super thick, the way you guys like it. Hey, so with that being said, I see you guys. We're gonna start off and look at this again in one hour, but this, this can go one hour to two hours. It depends on how soft you like your beans to be, and then your thickness. I didn't say this, listen, because you guys, last time you saw it, it was like at a boil, right? What you want to do is you want to lower the temperature and the fire down, you want to simmer. We're going to simmer for one hour, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, but this is what we're going to do too. I'm going to say about every 25 minutes, I want to come out and I want to stir it. I want to make sure my fire is not burning under my beans on the bottom. I'm going to show you guys how to make these pinto beans. And guess what, folks? I got something for you. Okay, so listen, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes, right? I kept stirring it right about every 25 minutes just to make sure that I didn't have anything burning or sticking on the bottom, right? So we'll break this away from ourselves so we don't catch none of the steam and burn ourselves. I want you guys to take a look at that right there. That's what you want to have, folks. Now, we want to test this to figure out are our beans ready? And the way we test them is we just take them. You see how you're going to see a bean over here on the side, right? 
So I just take it and then I just give it a little pressure. Ooh, it's starting to go ahead and, you know, mash. It needs a little bit more cooking. You know what I mean? All we can do is just keep it on low and slow. But what I can do right now is, if you guys look at this, I'll take this out. We can take this bone out of here, right? So everything is like super soft, right? I can actually take my spatula and just scrape down and everything's soft, like all of the meat and all of that just falls off, right? Let's get this again so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what you want. And then obviously we don't want that, but I want all of the meat. So I'm gonna knock this off. Okay, so look, now that I got my bay leaves removed, right? There's one more in here. Oh, there he is. He was trying to hide. This right here, hey. And I don't want nothing riding with him because this is going in the trash. Now, once I have this and we looking at this, I want you guys to look at the liquid. Now, it starts to thicken up as it evaporates, leaves all of the flavor inside, you know what I mean? And just with a bunch of stern and the beans starting to get soft, right? My beans are ready to go. There's two ways you can go, right? You can have them like this. Now I'm gonna show you another way what we can do. We can mash them up. Now check this part out. Now you can get yourself like a Pyrex, you know, cup. And I use a ladle. I want you to look at this ladle right here. It's pretty much flat down there, right? So if I use this size, you know, it'll mash it just a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a bigger one. This way I can get in here and work. All right, so what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our ladle, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting in some bean, right? Look at this right here. Then you get to look at the thickness too. This right here is good, you know what I mean? Uh, most people would like it like this, but I like mine a little bit on the thicker side. So we started out with just one pound bag, right? So if you got a little bit more, you guys can add some more, you know, to it. But just to give you an idea, right? I just put in some here and then I take my ladle and I just start pushing it down. Now they are already nice and soft, right? So let me continue this. And you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a paste. Now, if you look down in here, look, now we done made a paste. And this right here is gonna act as a thickening agent also. Look at that. Oh yeah, with your turkey too. So I just bring this over here. Use that spatula because we want to get it all out. And that's it. All right. So now, when I stir this in, now does it look like what you guys grew up with? You know what I mean? You'll just see it starts to thicken up. It has that, ooh goodness now remember I kept a little bit of that chicken stock if you want to add some if you want yours to be a little bit more on the thin side which I'm gonna turn my fire off right now we are there folks look at that all right folks look I'm not gonna fake no funk I didn't already tasted it it's like superb I don't know what else to say every one of my videos and everything that I make on this channel right here be fire folks you don't believe me read the comments now Listen, this right here is a budget-friendly meal, right? We got beans, we got some smoked meats, and I like to always use smoked turkey. Reason being, everybody doesn't use the pork, but whatever you have, throw it in there, get it nice and soft, shred that down, and this is what you come up with. Oh, and if you guys think I'm tripping, I'll always keep this sweet cornbread with me. You see that right there? Ooh-wee, ooh and is it moist? <laughs> yes, sir. So let me go in here and get down like this for you guys on camera, you know what I mean? Uh, Nice and soft and tender. That's the way you want them, folks. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but you gotta have that cornbread with it. Mm. Now that there is fire, folks. Hey, truly, just a southern meal to just take you home. If you guys got any roots or been down there, go see your family down in the south. You know what I mean? Uh, you're probably having pinto beans and cornbread, you know, collard greens, and you know, or string beans and potatoes, something like that. This is that meal right here. And when I tell you a meal, that's what I mean. This here and cornbread stand alone and hands down, put everybody to sleep. Now, they got a word for it. It's called the itis. Let me know if you know what the itis is down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm finna settle down. I'm done for the day and I'm out. Peace.